really impressive guys. Um, Arkansas Tech's a good team. Uh, they're talented. They're, they're well coached. They're athletic. Uh, they got size. Obviously, they did a great job in the first half of getting second opportunities, and, and we didn't do a great job of taking care of the ball, and, and they took advantage of it. They've got good players. They made shots. Uh, but I was really, really pleased with the way our guys responded in the second half uh, to, to step up, and, and we were able to string some stops together and started with good energy. And, and to see the ball go through the net a few times kind of gives you energy and, and uh, have some guys step up, and these two in particular, um, they, they've been very good all year. And um, for us to be successful in this tournament, we're going to have to have that continue. Questions first? Certainly that you were part of the team last year. I know you've now faced Tech three times since being back here last year. Was last year brought up at all coming into today, or had you already gotten last year's out of, last year's uh, game here out of your out of your system in other ways? Oh no, sir. We, it was in the past. They're a good team, so we just have to focus on this year, this moment, as of right now. Can't relive what happened last year, so we just had to focus about today and what we have to do. Sterling and uh, Donzo, can you talk about the, I guess, the talk Coach Jay gave you all at halftime, you know, being down by five, uh, talk about the strategy, what was it like in the locker room, you know, just talk about that. At halftime, like he told us, like before the game, we knew it was going to be a battle. So when we were down five, like we didn't panic or anything. He just told us to stay on course and play hard, play harder than them, and we'll get the win at the end. And we did it. He just told us to believe in each other and play as a team. And just like you said, we just came out there and we did what Coach told us to do and got good results. Coach, can you talk about a little bit how you're feeling at halftime? Yeah, I mean, I, I thought we were in, you know, we weren't in bad shape. We, we, uh, we turned the ball over and didn't rebound. Um, you know, that was, that was the, the, what I put on the board is we'd given them extra possessions. And our emphasis all week has been in postseason basketball. Every possession is going to matter, and you can't you can't give them extra ones. You can't give them away. And I thought that was really what turned in, in, in midway through the first half is we turned it over. They got some transition baskets, and then they got second opportunities. And so I think in the second half we did a much better job of controlling the glass and uh, and taking care of the ball. And, and I really I always have a lot of confidence in our guys. If we get good looks, I really believe that they're going to make them. And I thought we did a good job of that in the second half. It just is handling the ball better and, and trusting and making the extra pass and, and stepping up and making it when we had the opportunity. As noted in your in your in the note, you're forgiving us, you're facing a team here as what you're raising the finale, just like last year. How, you know, as weird as that, you know, the game team is obviously the most fresh, but, you know, you, you know you're both going to make a bunch of adjustments. What's that What's that feeling like during the week that you guys had here before you, uh, before you came and played Tech tonight? Is that for me? Yeah, yeah, you try. Okay, yeah. Um, I mean, we're obviously familiar with them. Um, I didn't give a lot of thought to, to last year's finale this week. Um, maybe I did when we walked in the same locker room before the game. <laughs> Not that I'm superstitious or anything. But, I mean, really, it, it was all about our guys and, and getting ready and focusing on what we can control. Uh, and, and I thought, for the most part, we, we did that. Ish, with this being your first gap tournament game, could you feel the difference of a, of a, of a postseason game as opposed to what you may have played just you know last Saturday? Um, yeah, it was a bit of a difference, you know, because like teams, like they prepare more for you since we played them twice. You know, they know some things you do, so you have to adjust to the defense. So second half, my coach was confident in me and told me to play my game, and I had a better second half than the first. That said, uh, we'll just wrap up here. We're looking forward to Saturday in Wachita, you know, a team that was right there with you guys for the very season title. Uh, what are your uh, expectations with that game with uh, with the other Tigers? It's going to be a, a tough game. I know that they uh, they defend maybe as well as anybody in the in the league. They're athletic. Uh, they got Terrell Brown back from from last year, who was Player of the Year in our, our league a year ago. Uh, they've got the ability to shoot with, uh, especially with Westbrook, so efficient from the three point line, uh, and they do a good job of executing their stuff. And so I, it's, it's going to be, um, you know, I hope if we do what we're supposed to, it's going to be a battle. It, it, it's going to be a 40-minute game, and it's, it's going to come down to, to who can, can make plays when, it, when it's tight in, in a close game. We'll get thoughts from Ish and 
and just starting to wrap it up. Just your thoughts on another, another match with the Tigers. Um, tomorrow, uh, next game is going to be a battle. It's going to be a battle because everybody wants to win the championship. So we got to come out hard. We got to play harder than them because they're a good team as well. How we play the game is just make sure we're ready, physical, and mental. Congratulations.